Incoming message from Admiral Liu. Captain, it is evident from Commander Data's report that these alien devices pose an extreme hazard to all Federation colonies in the area. We cannot maintain a presence here while these weapons exist. Therefore, your orders are to locate and destroy these devices. Admiral, the devices are mobile and capable of warp. Finding them will be a challenge. Exactly for that reason, Commander, I'm extending your assignment on board the Sovereign. You will be most helpful in finding more of the devices. Also, continue your research of Kesak technology. The more we know about it, the better. Understood, Admiral. I'm assigning the USS Geronimo and USS San Francisco to your task force. I had hoped things might be different when we encountered a new alien race. However, all their actions so far indicate the Kesak are hostile to us and must be considered our enemies. Captain, I cannot stress enough the importance of this mission. The Federation's hopes lie with you. You out. Incoming message from the Geronimo. On screen. We're standing by, Sovereign. Ready when you are. San Francisco standing by, Captain. It's a huge area of space, Captain. Where do we start? As I pointed out earlier, Commander, the Kassuk probes emit a high concentration of anti-protons while in use. I am afraid that is the only real lead we have. What about tracing their warp signatures? Is there anything specific about their warp shell configuration our sensors could hone in on? An excellent suggestion, which I also considered. However, the warp field created by these yes, devices sir? would make it difficult to detect with the added traffic of other ships passing through. Yes, sir. Residual Red weapons alert. fire traces Your would also captain? complicate the search. Chief Brex, if you modify your sensors, you may be able to get more accurate readings in the upper EM band. The devices will only emit anti-protons while in use, so we should concentrate our search near the stars of this sector. Chief. Already on it, Commander. Done. Go ahead, Miguel. Captain, long-range sensors are picking up unusually high concentrations of anti-protons in the Reha system. It could be one of the devices. Sir, I've added the coordinates for the Reha system to the con. Captain? Course laid in. Aye, aye. Arriving in the Reha system, sir. Captain, I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the local sun. I can't get any discernible readings, though. Can you get a more precise location? Not at this range, Commander. There's too much interference. Captain, I'm picking up two Kessok ships and a Cardassian galore. The Kessok have detected us and are moving to engage. Yes, the galore Captain. is remaining behind. Intercept course mm. plotted. What's that galore up to? If we can disable them, we might be able to ask that question. Their top shield. Sir, they have hull breaches on multiple decks. Captain, the galore has been destroyed. Captain, there is an object deep cloaking nearby. On screen. Look at that. It's the Kesak device. Captain, it's using a Romulan cloaking device. Why would the Romulans give the Cardassians a cloaking device? I assume the Cardassians acquired it from another source. The cloaking system was drawing energy from the Galore. Destroying the Galore severed the link. The device appears to be powering up to direct a pulse of high-energy plasma directly into the sun. There are no signs of external or internal weapons. Well, that's not very reassuring. We've seen what one of these things can do to a solar system. Even if we don't know how it does what it does, we can just take it out. Can't we? That's the problem, Chief. I'm not sure where to lock our phasers. I can't detect any vulnerable areas. We could increase power to the sensors. We might be able to penetrate the shielding and get a better idea of the inner workings of this thing. Yes, Captain? Captain, the last Kessok ship has been destroyed. Initiating scan. Scan successful. 
Commander Data, what do you make of this? Interesting. These scans are going to take some detailed analysis. However, I believe it is safe to destroy this device. But aren't we risking destroying the entire system with it? I trust Commander Data's assessment. I have Your isolated order, the device's component systems. If we focus phaser fire on the warp core, I believe we can neutralize Sending it. Sending orders. Lieutenant they have Sabali, acknowledged the command. I have transferred Sending the new orders. targeting information to they you. They have acknowledged Received. the command. I've targeted the device's warp core. Ready to fire on your command, Captain. Target's hull has been breached, Captain. Captain, the device has been destroyed. Captain, I will update Starfleet with our current findings. Captain, now that the device is destroyed, our scans may be able to pick up more distant anti-proton emissions. Your order, sir. Initiating scan. Sir, I'm picking up more anomalous readings near the Sebel Rai system sun. Yes, sir. I think sir? we may have found another one of the devices. I've entered the coordinates for Sebel Rai into the navigational computer. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Yes, sir. Initiating scan. Captain, I am detecting anti-proton emissions near the local Captain. sun. I can't get any discernible readings, Course though. Course laid in. Aye, aye. Captain, I'm reading a second Kessok device. We're in luck. They didn't bother cloaking this one. They didn't have to. I'm also reading half a dozen Kessok vessels. Is there any more good news? Well, our odds are pretty slim against that many Kessok warships. Perhaps we can evade them long enough to destroy the device they are protecting. Whatever we do, we should do it fast. The Kessok have just noticed us and are turning to intercept. The heavy cruisers stand coming at us in Central shields are draining, sir. Your orders, sir. Transmitting your new orders, Captain. Orders acknowledged, sir. Sending orders. Orders acknowledged, sir. Sir. Kessok Heavy Their is leaving. The shield is draining, huh? sir. Sir, but the Heavy Cruiser has gone into war. Target hull integrity at 20%. Their hull 
hull is severely damaged, sir. Your order, sir. The solar device has been destroyed, Captain. We should continue our search. Initiating scan. Sir, I'm getting faint anti-proton no readings. Sir. I'm not sure, but they could be coming from the Belarus system. It might be worth checking out. Captain, I've transferred the coordinates for Belarus to the con. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. <laughs> Course laid in. Yes, Captain. I'm not picking up any contacts, Captain. But the nebula ahead is so large it could be hiding an armada of Kessok ships. And we wouldn't know it until we ran into them. Miguel, are you certain the anti-proton radiation is coming from this system? Yes, Commander. It's unmistakable from this distance. I'd be willing to bet the third Kessak device is hiding somewhere in that nebula. We can do a pattern search of the nebula to see what we can find. Miguel, you're in the crow's nest. Commander? Crow's nest is a nautical term from ancient Earth. Translation, you're on the lookout. Oh, aye aye, Commander. Kiska, plot a course that will take us in a search pattern through the nebula. Yes, Commander. Done. Ready to enter the nebula on your order, Captain. Yes, sir. Your orders, Captain. Captain, I've Captain, detected a large object ahead. Stand down weapons. All stations, yellow alert. Is it the Kessok device? We need to get closer to identify it. But the anti-proton radiation is definitely getting stronger. Sir, Kessok warship ahead. Preparing to maneuver. Captain, yes, sir. This ship is the same heavy cruiser that fled from us at Silver Rye. And there's a solar device next to it. The Kessok is not moving. Dead in space? No. She's armed and powered. I can't detect any damage to their systems. The Geronimo is hailing us. On screen. We have a clear angle of fire in the Kessok warship, Sovereign. We can take it out. I have the Kessok ship targeted, Sovereign. Standing by. This looks like a chance to kill two birds with one stone. The Kessok shields are down. Why doesn't she do something? Not being fired on is good. But suspicious. Captain? They're responding. On screen. You must open when my awesome tongue send us so many yards. Commander, can you clear up the speed? Right. With the knowledge I gained from studying the Kessok device, so I should be able to enhance the translation. One moment. Don't submit your off tech, Captain. Now, keep it. Sounds upset. Waiting. Done. So the Kessok's speech will clear in a moment. Send your silicon captain to us at once. I will wait, but not long. Out. Silicon captain? Do they mean you, Commander Data? I believe so. Fascinating. Captain, I am willing to transport to the Kessok ship and attempt a peaceful first contact. Out of the question, sir. We know nothing of their intent. Nevertheless, it is a risk I am willing to take. Your decision, Captain? Captain? I believe you have made the right choice, Captain. I will report to the transporter room. I trust your instincts are right about this, Captain. The transporter room reports they are standing by. Commander Data is in the transporter room. Energizing. 
He is now aboard the Kessok ship. No signs of hostility from the cruiser. No signs of life from the cruiser either. Keep a lock on his comm badge and prepare to bring him back at the first sign of trouble. The first sign of trouble was when we found the Kessok ship. Well, I suppose there's nothing to do now but sit, sit wait, wait, and, and hope, hope for the best. For the best. Yes, quite. I don't like this feeling in my gut. Maybe you should have passed on the Vulcan trunk souffle for lunch. A little indigestion is only natural. Gentlemen, I prefer complete silence when I'm biting my nails. Audio from Commander Data's comm badge. It's a little garbled. Clearing up and patching through. Data to Sovereign. I am on the bridge of the Kessok ship and have encountered no hostility from its crew. Thank goodness. We had an unusual development. There were no light signs that could be read because our sensors are geared to read carbon-based life forms. The Kessok are silicon-based life forms? Indeed. I've been communicating with the captain of this vessel. It has taken an interest in me as I have a number of silicon components. I've been able to open a dialogue with you. Please report, Commander. I believe a face-to-face -face conversation would be of more benefit. One moment, please. Signal from the Kessok ship. On screen. Sir, this is Captain Neblus. It was initially very nervous, not certain what to expect from us. I reassured it and explained our chain of command. Also, I have perfected the Kessok speech translation. Neblus would now like to address you. Greetings, Captain. I have long urged this meeting on my government. They have been too reliant solely on Cardassian contact for information. Then you speak for the Kessok government. Sadly, no. I have ascertained that Captain Neblus is a respected leader, but with a reputation as a free thinker. A rebel? A maverick? Just so. Neblus suspected Cardassian motives when the Kessuk were first discovered by them. The Federation was painted as the enemy, who would enslave and exterminate the Cardassians and the Kessuk. We wished only to be left to develop our colonies in isolation, but the Cardassians convinced my government we were in danger of being subjugated for our technology. The solar devices. Solar forming platforms. They alter the radiation of a sun to make systems more hospitable for colonization. How did the Cardassians get them? I believe the Cardassians manipulated and lied to us. They used us to help rebuild their fleet, claiming they would protect us. I questioned my government as to why the Cardassians never patrolled areas essential to our people. The ships we built for them are controlled by the Cardassian called Matan. Matan. It always comes back to him. He would allow no communication between my government and your federation. This seemed folly to me, so I decided to arrange a meeting with you. Since you did not take advantage of my ship's lowered shields, I know I have made the right decision. Our orders are to destroy the devices. I will allow you to examine this device and ascertain its application for yourself. But it must remain in my custody. We rely on these devices for the welfare of our people. Forgive me, sir. Can we trust a Kessok? You are wise to be cautious, Commander. However, I believe we may give Neblus the benefit of the doubt. There is no evidence that it is trying to deceive us. With respect, sir, you keep calling Captain Neblus it. Is it the Captain female? The Kessok seem to be unconcerned with gender differences, Ensign. And now is not a good time to ask for definitions. Captain, I will examine the solar device on this ship. With Neblus's help, I should be able to learn much more. While we're waiting, this would be a good time to contact Starfleet and tell them what we've learned of the Kessok. Captain, I've informed Admiral Liu of our progress.
She's responding. Great job, Captain. I'm overjoyed that we've made peaceful contact with the Kessak. And frankly, I'm relieved that you didn't follow my orders to the letter by destroying all the devices. Incidentally, I contacted the Romulan government to inform them we found one of their cloaking devices in the hands of the Cardassians. They admitted to losing two cloaking devices. There's no telling if or where the other may turn up. After Commander Data has completed his research, please extend an invitation for Captain Nebulus to join us at Starbase 12. We have a lot to talk about. Liu out. Message from Data. He's ready to come back now. Brex. Yes, Commander. Energizing. Yes, sir. Cancel yellow alert. Now. We should head back to Starbase 12. Yes, Captain. Yes, sir. Loading quantum torpedoes, sir. Your orders, Captain. Course laid in. Aye, Captain. Sir. Welcome back, Captain. Commander Data, I presume you've had a chance to thoroughly examine the information on the Kessak devices? Yes, Admiral. And I have come to a conclusion. I believe the purpose and intent of these devices is simply to reform suns for Kessak colonies. It is only through Cardassian tampering that these solar formers become weapons. Interesting. We've located the one remaining solar device. It is orbiting the sun of the Omega Draconis system, home to what we believe is a newly colonized Kessak world. Cloaked Klingon and Romulan ships have been able to accomplish close recons of the system, but the results are less than conclusive. Admiral, during my communication with the Kessak Captain Neblis, I learned that there's been a steady buildup of the Cardassian fleet with Kessak assistance and technology. Then we cannot tell how much opposition to expect. Romulan intelligence confirms the Cardassians have recently activated large tachyon emitters throughout the system. These emitters disrupt subspace, preventing both warp travel within the system and communication with the main Kessak colony at Omega Draconis III. The Kessak must believe the Cardassians are doing this to protect them. And this complicates things since Neblus cannot contact the Kessak government. Neblus has offered to return to the Omega Draconis colony and spread the word of the Cardassian deception. But with the tachyon emitters preventing communications, the news would siphon too slowly, and we would lose our chance at the solar former. I agree, Commander. Therefore, the tachyon emitters must be destroyed as soon as possible. Captain, in light of your outstanding performance, you have been selected to lead our battle group into the Omega Draconis system. Neblis has agreed to join us with its ship, the Neblig. I do not expect the Kessak to attack us if they see us with Neblis, but undoubtedly they will need the situation explained to them before they take any action against the Cardassians. You may choose a second ship to accompany you, Captain. Good choice, Captain. McRae has reservations about fighting alongside a Kessak, but he's very eager to settle the score with the Cardassians. Admiral, with respect, wouldn't a larger battle group increase our chances of success? Not necessarily, Commander. We hope to minimize the casualties that would result in a large-scale offensive. Cardassian intelligence will be watching for large groups of ships moving through warp. You will benefit from the element of surprise. Remember, once you arrive at Omega Draconis, you will not be able to communicate with me due to the interference from the tachyon emitters. Once they are down, you should be able to warp deeper into the system. The remainder of our ships in this sector will join Klingon and Romulan task forces to attack two targets, Cardassian shipyards, in an effort to draw the attention away from your objective. 
However, once they discover our real goal, you can expect waves of reinforcements in defense of their lines. One thing more, if you come across Matan, do not allow him to escape. Stopping the Solar Former will correct the current situation, but if Matan remains at large, he will cause problems in the future. Good luck, Captain. Liu out. Is there a way to filter through the tachyon emissions to communicate with our allies? Docking Subspace sequence Subspace communication initiated. is out of the question. Yes, Captain? However, I, I can create a direct line-of-sight laser link between ships to use for short-range point-to-point transmission with our battle group. Please do so, Chief. Yes, Commander. Captain, the Geronimo has entered the system. Hello, Captain. Captain McRae is hailing us. I'm putting him through. Greetings, Captain. I'm keen to go kick some Cardassian tail. McRae out. Do Cardassians have tails? It wasn't funny the first time, Chief. I see you've made a new friend, Captain. I trust he doesn't bite. Incoming transmission from the Neblig. Patching through to the view screen. You have my assurance that I will not betray you. The welfare of my people is at stake. I join you with hope, Captain. This is not our way, but I believe I must cooperate with you. I will communicate Your order, with sir? my government Red as alert, shields soon up. as yes, we have destroyed these tachyon emitters. Until then, try to avoid attacking any of my people's ships. We'll do our best, Captain Neblis, but I trust you'll understand if it becomes necessary to defend ourselves. If it comes to that, as God's will. Course laid in for the Omega Draconis system, sir. Captain, Captain course I've established laid in. the laser yes, link with Captain. the other ships. Captain, our warp field has collapsed orders, due Captain. to the subspace interference. This is as close as we're going to be able to get until we take out the tachyon emitters. We're at the far edge of the Omega Draconis system. Captain, I've got a fix on the Cardassian lines of defense. The force is comprised of several Keldons. I don't think they've detected us yet. All Keldons? Your Not orders, even sir. a single galore? Maybe we destroy them all. The Cardassians have spotted your us. New orders, They're Captain. powering up Sending weapons orders. and moving to engage. Orders acknowledged, sir. They have acknowledged the command. Message from the Geronimo. On screen. Let's show these Cardassians some action. I'll take the three on the left. Neblis is hailing us, Captain. On screen. Captain, I am standing by to contact my people once you've dealt with the Tachyon emitter. Colliding with another ship, Captain. Sir, they are draining our dorsal shield. Tractor beam has been disabled, Captain. Attacking on emitter has been destroyed. Shields are at 70. Nebulous is killing us, Captain. On screen. This tachyon emitter was destroyed, but I still cannot contact the colony. There must be another emitter somewhere ahead. Captain, the tachyon emissions have dissipated enough that we should be able to work now. Cardassians are retreating, Captain. I'm tracking them. They appear to be regrouping at Omega Draconis 3, Captain. Now might be a good time to return to Starbase Captain. 12 for reload and repairs. When we're ready, Your orders, we should sir? continue toward the colony at Omega Draconis 3. I have nothing to add, Captain. Your orders, sir? I'm sorry, Captain, but I don't Your have orders, any suggestions sir. at this time. Initiating scan. Your orders, sir? Nothing you detected, Captain. Yes, Captain. I have nothing to add, Captain. Captain? I have nothing to add, Captain.
Captain? Course laid in. Yes, Captain. I managed to get us pretty close to Omega Draconis three before the warp Intercept field collapsed. Intercept course plotted. The Kessak colony is ahead, and several ships surrounding it. Cardassians and Kessak, all combat ready. It looks like they were expecting us, Captain. The Cardassian ship that fled from Omega Draconis five is not here. Probably went for reinforcements. We should hurry. The Cardassian ships are moving to engage. The Kessak ships are standing down. It looks like we won't have to fight. Them. Having a Kessak escort works like a charm. Captain, we should destroy that tachyometer as soon as possible. Sir, so we the can right shield has the failed. Colony. Captain McRae is hailing us. I'm putting him through. Let's finish off these Kardashians. Nebulous is hailing us, Captain. Sir, they are training our dorsal shield. Destroying the emitter should allow me to contact the colony. Tachyon emitter destroyed, Captain. That's done it, sir. Comm channels are beginning to clear up. Incoming message from Captain Nebulous. It reports it is signaling the Kessek colony. taking so long. Your orders, sir? Neblis is hailing us, Captain. On screen. Finally. Hail, Captain. I have told my people of the Cardassian treachery. They have reluctantly agreed to support you in your efforts here. And they will be open to Federation diplomacy after this situation is diffused. Captain, the Kessok are turning on the Cardassians. reading several new contacts. They look like the hybrids we found at the Shambana shipyard. The energy signature is that of Kessok ships. I'm receiving a transmission on an open channel to all ships. On screen. This is Legat Matan of the Cardassian Empire. Your presence here Captain, is in violation of Cardassian sovereignty. You have Their forward the shield is draining. Of our end. And you have seen the power we wield. Continue. And you will risk extinction. Leave this system at once. Or be destroyed. Miguel, which ship is Matan in? I can't tell, Commander. His transmission was distracted laterally among the hybrids. Incoming message from the Kessar Commander. Their ships are going to fall back their to defend their colony. Their top shield has failed. They're disengaging. What? I guess they're pessimistic about our odds of stopping the Matan. Neblis is hailing us, Captain. On screen. I apologize, Captain, for my people's withdrawal. I cannot explain or condone the political decision our commander has made. However, I will remain with you to help against these Cardassian abominations. Captain McRae is hailing us. I'm putting him through. They're difficult to take down, Captain. They take our best hits and just keep coming. I was right about their energy signatures. These hybrids combine Cardassian and Kessok technology. They seem to have added a few touches of their own. They aren't using standard Cardassian or Kessok weapons. Leave it to the Cardassians to find a better way to destroy. Any ideas, Chief? Just two. Keep our strong shields toward them and use quantum torpedoes. That's the last of the hybrids. So much for Matan. I'm receiving a broadcast message. Sir, it's Matan. What? All the hybrids are destroyed. On screen. You've worn out your welcome, Starfleet. Prepare to meet your doom. Ship to cloaking, sir. It's a Romulan. No, wait. It's a Keldon. Now we know where the second cloaking device ended up. That must be Matan. A Keldon with a cloaking device. What will they think of next? 
Sir, Matan's vessel appears to be fleeing. Maybe we can try talking to him. Kiska, hail him. No response. What did I expect? Looks like we're going to have to do this the hard way. The Enterprise is hailing us. On screen. I'm afraid not. The Raft shield has failed, Captain. He seems intent on his present course of action. Captain, Matan is getting away. Captain, a wave of hybrids is pouring into the system. The hybrids are attacking the Kessak colony. Kessak will be slaughtered. Their heavy cruisers don't stand a chance against the hybrids' enhanced weapons. It's as if the Cardassians designed the hybrids to be Kessak killers. We're outnumbered, sir. New contact entering system. It's the Enterprise. Captain, we have collapsed their bottom shield. Incoming transmission from the Nebleg. Patching through to the view screen. I'm sorry, Captain, but I must stay with the colony. May the god heal. Message from the Geronimo. On screen. Feel the baton, Captain. We'll watch the Enterprise. Captain Picard is hailing us. On screen. Enterprise to Sovereign, we're here to assist you. Not a moment too soon, Captain. The Cardassians are putting up stiff resistance. We'll see if we can remedy that. Hold tight, we're moving to engage. Captain? Captain, another Cardassian hybrid has entered the system. Captain, another Cardassian hybrid has yes, entered the system. Course laid in. Yes, sir. Captain, another Cardassian hybrid has entered the system. Captain, another Cardassian hybrid has entered the system. I'm picking up a single Keldon. It's Matan's ship, Captain. The solar former is right beside him. His ship is cloaking, Captain. Matan's sure attacks is attacks are draining slipping. their right shield. Not surprising, considering Cardassians evolved from a species of lizard called Mechamut, or Mud Creeper. You're making that up. He's... He's hailing us, Captain. Well, Starfleet pig, you found me. My solar former is about to make this star go supernova and destroy the entire system. You might be able to stop it. Care to try? What's his game? The solar former's shields are down. Why don't we just fire some torpedoes at it and be done? Good idea, Lieutenant. I am not so sure. Why not? Destroying the solar former is what he seems to want us to do. I agree. You think someone as intelligent as Bataan wouldn't give us a clear shot at his precious doomsday device? Unless he's gone mad. You're considering the sanity of a man whose hobby is destroying solar systems? I think we should get close enough to the solar former to do an intensive scan. I'd feel more comfortable blowing it up from here. Enough banter. Yes, Captain? Captain, what are we going to do? Captain, we're taking damage from our proximity to the sun. Can we hold together, Chief? Yes, but my crews are going to be too busy plugging up damage from the sun to deal with any other repairs. Yes, sir? Audio message from Matan. What are you waiting for, Captain? Come, be a hero. Starfleet is counting on you. I wish he'd stop that. It's spooky. What can we do? He's cloaked. If he sends us a message again, can't we track the source of the transmission? Of course. Felix, I'll need you to route communications through tactical. Done. Next time Matan signals us, we should be able to get a temporary lock on him. We'll probably only get one chance. Matan is not stupid enough to fall for the same trick twice. You have a very resourceful crew, Captain. We shouldn't just sit and wait for him to hail us. We've got to try and do something about that solar former. I still think we should scan it. I still think we should destroy it. Yes, Captain. It. I think we should go help the Kessick evacuate. Initiating scan. We're not close enough to the solar former, Captain. Captain, that sun is really unstable. Whatever Matan did with the solar former tipped the balance. It's now in atomic acceleration. Yes, How Captain. How long do we have? Nine minutes remaining, sir. Initiating scan. We're in range. One moment. Sorry, this is bad news, Captain. Apparently, the sun is past the point of no return. It will go supernova no matter what we do? I'm afraid so. 
and we don't have much time left. I have an idea, Captain. We can try inverting the polarity of the solar former's emitters. Do you think the solar former can reverse what it's done to the sun? That is what I am hoping, yes. When I scanned the device, I noticed that its internal computer was locked by an encryption code. Can we break the code? I don't know, Commander. We have no idea what cipher Matan has used, and Cardassians are legendary for their encryption techniques. Quite true. The encryption system prohibits remote tampering unless you have the precise key sequence that activated it. To decrypt the code, someone would actually have to beam over to the solar former, and of course there's no life support there. Maybe there's something about the code on Matan's ship. We could try scanning him. That would be a good idea, if you weren't cloaked. Alternately, I could beam over to the device. You certainly like putting yourself in dangerous situations. What about Matan? He's probably going to see what we're doing and try to stop us. us. I trust you will not let him succeed. I am ready to transport to the solar former on your order, Captain. Your orders, Captain? Yes, Captain. I will report to the transporter room. Seven minutes remaining. Commander Data is in the transporter room. Energizing. He's now inside the solar former. Matan's ship is decloaking. I guess we got his attention. Matan is targeting the solar former. We have to protect Commander Data. Commander Data is signaling us from the solar former. Audio only. Captain, target solar has been reached from the solar former signal module. I am now attempting to decrypt the cipher. Sir, we are draining the top shield. Destroy Matan's main energizer. His propulsion and weapons are useless. He's drifting into the sun. Chief, can we lay a tractor beam on his ship? The sun's greatly elevated radiation is throwing off the polarity of our graviton generators. I highly recommend we turn our attention toward the solar former. Commander Data is signaling us from the solar former. Audio only. Accessing the solar former's emitter array. Stand by. It is done. The polarity is inverted. Good. Miguel, bring Commander Data back. Lowering shields. Energizing. Commander Data is back on board. Approximately six minutes until we're all burnt to a crisp. Now, let's deal with Matan. Can we get within transporter range of Matan's ship? There's too much interference from the sun. I can't lock on any patterns. Let him burn. Kiska. Sorry, Commander. Chief, give us a status report. Can't imagine these sparking consoles are a good sign. Our primary EPS conduits have blown out. Switching to secondary systems? Plasma coolant containment is compromised. We may have to vent it completely after we reach Starbase 12 for repairs. Antimatter containment is stable. We have impulse and up to warp 4 at your command. Captain's log, stardate 554.32.5. The Sovereign has returned victorious from battle with Matan, having disarmed the Kessok Solar Former. Unfortunately, Matan himself could not be captured to answer for his crimes against the Kessok people. However, justice appears to have been served with the destruction of his ship. I have requested a meeting with the Sovereign's captain to express my personal thanks, as well as my commendations. Well, Captain, you've certainly distinguished yourself. The Kessok have offered their most profound thanks for your assistance in preserving both their colony and their remaining solar former. We have begun diplomatic negotiations with the Kessok. In light of recent events, we are hopeful they will be open to a treaty of some kind with the Federation. Your performance has been exemplary, Captain. You've maintained the finest traditions of Starfleet. I'm sure we'll be hearing the name Sovereign often in the future. We must be getting underway, and I know you want to get back to your ship. So I'll say bon voyage, Captain, and see you out there.